What's up YouTube, it's Onion Bomb here and welcome back to another Breaking Bad reaction video. Today we're on Season 5, Episode 2, Last Time. Uh, it was a pretty good one. We had the Jesse, Mike, and Jesse. Um, I said Jesse twice. Uh, Jesse, Mike, and Walter, uh, they had to erase the laptop from evidence than the police. They had to erase its memory. Uh, Mike was not happy at first. He's coming back from getting shot. And uh, he, reali he realized that Gustavo was dead because of Walter. He wanted to kill Walter. Jesse stopped them. And they worked together to get the laptop from the police station. They used a big magnet thing to er erase its memory. Everything's there. They left the truck there. But, but they escape. And they make ev I think the evidence thing just went all the way to the wall they got a big giant magnet so the laptop with the security camera footage um from gus should be um all cleared up now but something some photograph did break and it had some kind of right it's like there's like a routing number and all that um i don't know what that could be but uh that's probably nothing good but yeah and we saw ted um not dead uh but in terrible shape like he's in this like you know, this neck brace kind of thing but not just like a net brace like hank was in but like like a metal thing that's like in his head and like stan is that it's crazy uh but he said it wasn't telling he didn't tell anyone what skylar did um so that's good however walter's not too happy he gave the money but i think he did at the end officially forgive skylar um so yeah that was pretty much the episode um very interesting very good um, H Hank was doing a little bit okay with walking uh, with like a cane and uh, checking out the uh, the lab under the laundry so yeah uh, pretty good let's see what happens next and let's get into this next episode French dressing half French you learn in a sign for French obwohl unsere Freunde in Marketing es vielleicht für angebracht halten werden etwas griffigeres zu erfinden Herren Smoky Mesquite BBQ mit 3% mehr. What is going Geschmack. on? He's trying sauces? Yeah. Ja. And ketchup. Oh. Taking down more spoils. Schuler, ich bin Kriminalkommissar Kunz. Ich muss mit Ihnen sprechen. Würden Sie bitte aus der Toilette oh, heraustreten? Good. He, he had with Gus. Herr Schuler. Oh, no. Öffnen Sie. Well, rip to Mr. Schuler. Herr Schuler. Why was he trying sauces though? Is was he another restaurant chain guy? Like Gus, only he was he was in the business. Honestly, doesn't it make sense that it wound up in the lab? I thought about that okay, a lot, but I just don't see how. Well, look, you you had the pack in your pocket of your jacket, right? And, yeah. and your jacket was in your locker, so maybe the cigarette just fell out of the pocket and, and wound up in the locker, and now it's 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 all burned up. It's gone. Maybe it's somewhere in your house. No, you man, I've place. looked everywhere, okay? Your car? Did you check no, your car? No, 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 no. It's, I mean, it's thoroughly. Yes, of course. Look, it's not in my house. It's not in my car. And the more I think about it, there's no way it fell out in my locker. And I keep thinking somebody's going to find this thing on the street or you something. Don't know that. You know, somewhere I, where I dropped it. Some no. innocent person, some kid, maybe no, no, even. Man. Come on, and listen, my God. Come on, Jesse. Oh. Listen, you, you, you've got to get a hold of yourself here, all right? Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna come over there, okay? And together we're gonna look for this thing. All right? He's setting it up. And that's the real one. I might have had that pillow, the one with the um, city on it. They just won't. We're gonna plant this thing to make it convincing. Is that? 
A Roomba. Oh, that's where he put it. Done? Yeah. Good. Good. No worries. Let me get rid of this. I almost shot you. Hey, hey, now. I almost killed you all because... Just a oh. misunderstanding. No, 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 no. There, there wasn't even a misunderstanding. I don't know what's wrong with me, Mr. White. I, didn't, I don't know how I could be so stupid. I just gotta stop that now. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Listen to me. Oh. <clears throat> What happened happened for the best, you hear me? I wouldn't change a thing. You and I working together, having each other's back, it's what saved our lives. I want you to think about that as we go forward. Go forward where? Where are we going from here? Seeing us to talk partnership. Partnership. Yes. Equal. Three ways. You, Jesse, and me. Okay. Partnership is what? Well, we figure we're gonna start cooking again. We well, figure why not? There's no denying Ooh. the popularity of our product. There's a market to be filled. Currently, no one to fill it. See, Jesse, Jesse and I have manufacturer covered. But there's still distribution, support, logistics, that sort of thing. Each of us will receive a larger cut. Owners, not employees. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh. You are trouble. I'm sorry the kid here doesn't see it, but I sure as hell do. You are a time bomb. Tick, tick. And I have no intention of being around for the boom. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't got caught yet. Hank's coming back to work. Is oh, that McCain? I can see that, man. He's outstanding. Yeah. With Peter Schuler in 1992. Almost single-handedly, he grew our little restaurant division into an industry leader. Shocked and saddened by his death, mm. and outraged by the damage his actions have wrought upon my grandfather's company. Mutmaßliche Handlung. Alleged actions. An innocent man does not kill himself. My people. If only I'd listen. <laughs> but I guess the damage was done. It's not right to put this on you. Somebody's got to go under the bus. Mm. Lamey's a good man. It's about Fring's laptop. Turns out a couple of days before it happened, Death Sergeant gets this mm. phone call from a postal inspector, quote unquote, wanting to know where they keep the thing. And he told him, Jesus. <laughs> Anything left of the laptop? You look that lucky. You know, I, I sneaked a peek before APD took it out of Frank's office. The whole thing was encrypted. No. They wouldn't have got anything anyway. Franco killed Frank. So who gave Salamanca the bomb? A whole lot of questions. Not much in the way of answers. I had him out to my house. The whole night we were laughing, telling stories, drinking wine. And then somebody else completed it. Right in front of me. Just like Walter. Just like Hank. Yo. You coming to me or am I coming to you? Face forward. We'll talk like this. I guess I'm coming to you. <sighs> this way. This place is safe. No one's going to see you here. Dwayne, this is so. Thank you. How did I not see you sitting back there? So weird. You want anything else, Mike? No. Uh, I'm good, Fred. Thanks. <laughs> What's this? 
A list of 11 names. There's 11 men, and I think you know this, Mike. Those 11 could sink us. You and me both. Where are we going with this, Lydia? No specific. I'm just pointing out facts. These men, your men, yours and Gus's, these men were on the payroll. Very publicly, they trace back to Poyas and the laundry. They trace back to Madrigal, and they're going to get picked up by the police. And when they do, when they get picked up and threatened with prosecution, and there's only one way out for them, they're going to... And I'm not saying all of them, okay? All it's going to take is two or three, or even one. But there, there's always a weak link somewhere, but they're going to talk. At least one of them's going to talk about you, about me. And that is all it's going to take. These are the 11 I know of. But I'd love your input. You want me to kill every man on that list? <laughs> That's a leap, what you just... Uh, no, I didn't say that. But if you think... You're very upset, which I'm going to factor into my response here. These are my guys, and they are solid. My guys are solid. I vetted them with great care, and Fring made sure they were well compensated in the event of a situation such as this. They're paid to stand up to the heat, keep their mouth shut, and say you what understand. What is he in this thing? I understand. Mm, what's he doing? Hey, Chow. Oh. How are you holding up? Okay. You know, they, oh. they, uh, they talk to me. Have a seat, Mr. Uh, Herman Trout. Oh, yeah. hey. That right? Close enough. What do you do there? Corporate security. Corporate security? Yeah. What's that, like, uh, guarding the special sauce? I conduct employee background checks. I oversee loss prevention. Since you're a private investigator, where are you licensed? New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, every state where we operate. You strike me as a former cop. Am I right? Where at? Philadelphia. Philly. <laughs> City of brotherly love. Turns out we, uh, we know some folks there. And they told us that your tenure as a police officer ended somewhat, uh, Dramatically? You want to talk about that? Not particularly. What else you do for Frank? He must have needed help running that drug empire of his, no? Drug empire? First time hearing about that. I don't know anything about that. Hey, man, we have a guy that can put you in that underground lab, and he'll testify to it. So from here on out, this can go hard or easy. Forget your handcuffs? I'm confused. Am I under arrest here or am I not? You want to state that for the camera? You are not under arrest. Stir it up with all these false accusations. If I'm not under arrest, I'd prefer to leave. Talk about the $2 million in your granddaughter's name. Fring had all these secret offshore accounts that he would deposit money into, like, uh, well, and even a dozen of them. And they're all in the names of certain people on his payroll, guys that must have been getting paid off the books. Anyway, one of the names was Kaylee Ehrmantraut. I said, shit, man, this fifth grade girl is the muscle behind Fring's entire operation. I said, whoa, whoa, hey, partner, slow down there. Maybe it was actually her dear old Level of insight. Take every last dollar. That's going to be how he gets in the business with Walter and Jesse. I don't know anything about anybody. I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh. Or anyone says it. No more RVs. I don't know. I mean, the crystal ship did pretty good for us. The crystal ship. The <laughs> crystal. We called it. Uh, we're good on everything except uh, methyl mean. We're going to talk. Not on the phone. Can you come to my house? Oh, no. Oh. 
the heck is going on? Oh. Uh, I'd like you to drop you down. How'd he do that? And then turn around very slowly. Oh. Sorry about this, Mike, but I needed the money. Those feds, they, they took it all, man. You ready? This is Mike. I figured that was coming. She ate her peas, she ate her carrots, she ate a whole lot of carrots this time. A whole lot. This so I'm gonna take a bath, put Kira to bed, and then go on home. I'll see you tomorrow. Two good men died because of you. Please. I don't want my daughter seeing me like that. Your daughter won't see you. Yes, yeah, she will. She'll find me. She never once sleeps throughout the night. Nobody's gonna find you, Lydia. But a five-year-old daughter stumbling across your dead body. I can't just disappear. She has to know I didn't leave her. She has to know Keep that. Keep your voice down. <laughs> Shut up. And calm down. I don't care. You have to promise. You Can you still get your hands on meth on me? Oh. Maybe. Why? Oh, he is coming back. I'm a fallen. Yes, we do. I've reconsidered. Oh. I'm in. Yeah. Good. <laughs> 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 All right, that was episode two of season five, and that was another good one. Uh, there, wondering what was gonna happen uh, after this, like with the whole myth thing, and it looks like they're just getting it back together. Like, okay, that's another thing that went wrong. Like Tuca, like we gotta get back into this. Walter, of course, needs money because he's actually in debt now. He's he's down like forty grand, so. He still needs that. Um, Jesse. I don't know if he necessarily needs it like Walter does. But he could just use a little more. Um, and then. They went to Mike to get back into it. Which I, I thought was pretty cool. And then he said no. Understandably. But I found. Uh, and then at the minute he they said about the. Uh, his granddaughter's account. And there it's going to like disappear I knew he was coming back and then he asked that one girl if she could still get methylamine which uh, he was gonna shoot her because <laughs> um, she got she was trying to get everyone killed and rip chow he I we saw him once though and uh, rip chow I guess uh, that one girl though she went uh, she got the methylamine um, I, I, cause I, I didn't know how the heck she was involved with this, especially how she was acting at the diner. Like, she's been all su suspicious with the booth. And then, like, she tried to call Mike a different name, even though he already was known by Mike. It was just, eh, she was just was not handling herself good. So, like, I, I, I didn't know what the heck she was doing. And what she was doing, she, she tried to get Mike killed by pay. Yeah, I know. She was just trying to cover up things. I don't know. Hopefully she needs to get the uh, methamine because that would be really good for Walter and Jesse. And then Mike's back in it. <laughs> and he's worth Walter and Jesse. And they're like a trio now, which is kind of cool. I like how Saul, Jesse, and Walter were talking about what to do next. And Jesse <laughs> brought back up the RV. <laughs> that was funny. Skyler was kind of acting weird this episode. She was just in bed like both the times and I don't know I don't know like, she, I Walter forgave her for sleeping with Ted I don't know if that's what it is like she's kind of feeling extra guilty about it Or if she's still scared of Walter from what he did to Gus um, Or if she's just like I don't know she's just probably feeling weird so I don't know um, But it's very interesting and we saw, we did see Hank talk to Mike and uh, question him. And that was cool. All characters, like, who've been in the show for so long. Like, Mike, we've seen Mike. I think the first time we saw Mike was season two after Jane died. 
he was Saul's guy that helped him. Uh, and then we saw, of course, Hank's been here this entire show. Well, we've seen like characters been here for so long, and then when they finally interact, like after a couple seasons, it's actually it's very cool. I like when shows do that. Makes the moment like like oh really like special, really more epic. And I really like the uh, excuse uh, to get Mike to join up with Walter and Jesse. I think that's good uh, because he does want to uh, get money for his granddaughter. So yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for me. Um, a good episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like or dislike. Subscribe or don't subscribe. You know, it's always up to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video you watch with me. Good boy. Wanna tangle. I can feel him try to grab me by the ankles. I can hear him all start to say my name, oh. But it's not about the money or the fame, no. No, it's all about me just doing my thing, yo. Cause I'm loving what I do and I won't change, no. I feel blessed I could do this every day, yo.